channel. So today I'm gonna do a Valentine's look. I know this is not exactly what pops up in people's minds when they hear Valentine's and makeup and <laughs> stuff like that. But I just thought I would do something fun. So this is what I came up with. Uh, this is an SFX makeup tutorial so you would not go out like this on Valentine's Day. Uh, maybe you would. I don't know. I don't judge. Uh, but um, yeah, just thought I would have some fun. And the inspiration for this look was actually the heart eye emoji. And uh, yeah, so I thought I would have some fun and create a fun version of the heart eye emoji. Uh, well, well, kind of not, not a fun uh, version of the uh, heart eye emoji, but kind of like a scary version if that makes sense so uh, so yeah this is what I came up with and if you want to see how I got this look just keep watching so I will be starting off with just grabbing a light eye pencil and I'm just using the NYX eye brightener and I'm just gonna go ahead and outline hearts around my eyes So now that that's done, I'm going to go ahead and grab my Graftobian Modeling Wax and I'm going to start applying it to where I outline and as you can see, I'm kind of like smoothing it out with my skin except the part uh, nearest my eyes because I want that part to be like skin flaps if that makes sense. Uh, but uh, also like the wax is really hard to work with and it really sticks to your fingers so make sure that you put some oil on your fingers or something like that when you smooth it out because then it won't stick to your fingers and it will be a lot easier to work with it so I'm just doing it all the way around my eye just like a heart and I'm just gonna do that to both of my eyes so once everything is smoothed out and looks nice I'm gonna grab my um, I don't know what it's called like a scalpel thingy and I'm gonna start like opening up the skin a little bit so it looks more torn and uh, yeah you can see what I'm doing um, I'm just like opening up a little bit for the next step I'm grabbing my brown SFX cream color from NYX and I'm gonna go ahead and apply it like on the outer outer part of the heart uh, just to uh, create some dimension and so the red that I'll be applying looks I don't know a little bit like messy and uh, dirty and stuff like that For the next step, I'm going to use the red color from NYX and I'm just going to go ahead and just apply this all over my eye and kind of blend it a little bit with the, with the brown and stuff like that so it looks, as I said, a little bit dirty and it has a little bit more dimension than just the flat red. So now I'm taking a black color also from NYX and I'm going to create even more dimension and I'm just going to go ahead and apply this like right on the edges of the uh, skin I guess like underneath the skin flaps it sounds so weird when I say it but you know what I'm what I mean and I'm just gonna go ahead and apply it all around the edges and kind of blend it out a little bit with a bigger brush so it looks a lot uh, more realistic <laughs> To make the skin around the eyes look really bruised and irritated, I'm going to use a blush and I'm just going to go ahead and grab a fluffy brush and just apply it all over all over the skin around the eyes and stuff like that and uh, it's going to make it look really irritated and more realistic than just nothing. <laughs> now over to blood, I'm going to use the Ben Nye Stage Blood and I'm just going to go ahead and just cover my entire like hard eyes with blood just like everything so it's really bloody and looks really wet and uh, open <laughs> then I'm also going to take some scabula from Ben Nye and I'm just gonna go ahead and apply this also like on the hard eyes uh, just to make it look like it's really like fleshy and messy and gross and yeah like it's flesh from the cuts and stuff like that so now I'm grabbing the blood again, the stage blood, the one that I used before and I'm just going to go ahead and stipple it on around my eyes just to make it look a little bit more bloody and a little bit more messy and stuff like that. And last but not least, I'm going to go ahead and create some drips uh, down the like uh, bottom part of the heart so it looks like it's dripping blood there and I'm just using a Q-tip for that. And I think this is the most important part because I think the drips look really cool and gives it a really like, cool and realistic effect. So yeah. 
So that was it for this tutorial. I really hope you enjoyed watching this and also I thought I would do another like SFX makeup tutorial for Valentine's Day. So if you have any ideas or anything that you would want me to do, just leave your ideas down below in the comments section and I'll see what I can do. And this was actually uh, when I asked on Instagram what kind of looks you would want to see for Valentine's Day. This was the one that most people asked for like hard eyes or bloody hard eyes, hard in your face or something like that. So yeah, if you have any ideas, just pop them down below and I'll go through them and see what I like the best and I'll just pick one and do one. <laughs> so yeah, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye guys!